if we're looking at autonomous cars, and we're looking at the future of technology really being the connected everything, that's where we're going. And I think 5G is the right technology to start with driverless cars. We can give guarantee for low latency, which you need for safety, for fast reaction. These pods that would come and just pick us up and and the pod would know, you know, what our favorite music is and, you know, what, what we want to do, but it's not going to be a car. You're on a road that you normally take and there's a surprising amount of traffic, so I'm going to reroute you. You don't even know about it. While self-driving cars aren't here right yet, right now, I think in 10 years' time, we, we will certainly be seeing them on a regular basis. We can save resources because the cars are driving with a constant velocity on the road. There will, we will reduce the traffic jam. We will reduce uh, 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 the energy con consumption because they are driving not stop and go, because they are uh, driving continuous. And we will also save people. So if it's sitting in your, in your garage, why can't your garage become an Uber when it needs to be? So if, you're, if you say, hey, I'm going to be at work from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m., let's, let's pay off my monthly car payment by letting it be auto-drive for people who need to get from place to place. We will come to a mass uh, market for driverless cars and there exists a possibility that they can replace the railway.